so yeah it's not clickbait <laughs> no i really i really really wish that it was clickbait but nope my Japan working visa extension application that I talked about in a video like months ago, um, it was rejected. And that's why I'm back in Australia. And that's why, that's why so many things. <laughs> oh, it's just been one, one hell of a year. It's what it's been. I'm gonna, I'm really gonna try my best to get through this video without crying. I'm in good, I'm in a good mood today. So maybe I won't cry, but we'll see. Gosh, where to start? So I've obviously known about this for months and I hadn't, I didn't want to talk about it on the channel because I still had like a bunch of videos left to edit. And if I put this out and then I have a bunch of videos then there's like this sad undertone of like, this is her last trip before she leaves Japan kind of thing. So I didn't, I wanted those videos to just be fun and on their own entirely without without this this terrible storm just like looming over it. I, I applied for my visa extension, um, when was it? At the end of May, you know, there's kind of like a two month kind of waiting period where you're like, will it be extended? Will it not? And you know, like up until this point, I uh, everyone around me had just told me like, you'll be fine. Like you'll, you'll be totally fine. You've got nothing to worry about. It's a legit company. It's a legit job. You're not lying about anything on the application. Everything's gonna be fine. Then it was a couple of weeks later that I found out that the application was rejected. My heart just like sank. Like this thing that I knew was entirely a possibility. Of course, I knew that it was possible that it was gonna be rejected, but I just never thought that it really would happen because everyone around me was saying, you'll be fine, everything will be fine. I was just entirely in shock still. Um, we don't know the reason for the rejection yet. So we have to go to immigration to actually talk with them and they'll give us like a rough explanation of why it was rejected and the reasoning behind it. Just see what my options are. I can see that. Um, I should be able to see that on Monday. Yeah, I've staked a lot on being able to stay in Japan this year. It's not the end of the world. I know it's not. It's a relatively small problem to have in relation to the problems that there are out there, but... Huh. <laughs> So I went to Tokyo. Oh, just my stomach was like in knots the entire time. So I had to just like watch Sex in the City again and again because it's that like that comfort movie that I always put on. Like if, I, if I'm feeling sad or anxious or whatever, just put on Sex in the City, you'll be fine. <laughs> so basically the inspector said that the reason that my visa was rejected was because um, the, the details in the application and like the, the job description and that kind of thing didn't match the kind of visa that we were applying for. It was just in my best interest to go home back to Australia and try again from Australia because the visa application, if you're trying from outside the country, is quite different to when you're trying from inside the country. And so I picked a date, like the earliest date possible that I could leave. I left August 5th and I have been back in Australia ever since. And oh boy, it's been really, here it comes. Oh. Yeah, it's been really rough. It's been, it's been a really, really rough month. I left Chris at the airport and that sucked. And then I, I, I came back to Australia. Um. <laughs> Get back in there. I'm not crying on camera today. It's not that I don't love Australia and that I don't love my family and my friends and it's been amazing catching up with all of them. Huh. Whew. The thing that really sucks <sighs> All right, come on, come on, come on. The whole time in the pandemic, the whole time in the two and a half years that I was away from Australia, I was so homesick. I just, I wanted more than anything to go back to Australia. And I was, I was just so excited for the day that I could finally go home and see my family and my friends again. And I was like, that's gonna be amazing. That's gonna, that's gonna be so exciting. Come on. <laughs> I was really looking forward to it. And then this happened. And it just felt like um, it stole the joy away that I was supposed to feel coming home. I didn't get to do that this time. Oh, shit, I'm crying now. It's happening. It's all, it's all flowing. <coughs> Especially for the first month, I just felt really lost. And, come on. And I felt like I lacked any purpose or direction. I wasn't excited to meet them because it meant that I was going to have to explain this this really thing that's happened to me and I was going to have to explain all the details and I knew that I wasn't much fun to hang around anyway because I'm just kind of sad and and I didn't want to 
huh. and I didn't want to be a downer on my friends and my family so I I didn't want to I just didn't want to meet up with some people I couldn't bear to talk about it anymore <laughs> it's just been bad <laughs> it's been really bad <laughs> I don't mean to be dramatic or anything, but it's been pretty terrible. <laughs> and it's not just about leaving Japan because I love Japan so much. Like my... Is that a spider? Damn. <laughs> Welcome to Australia. My whole life is in Japan. Like my, my loving boyfriend and my apartment that I'm still paying rent for and my Jeep that I just finished building. I just got the rooftop tent on and then I can't use it anymore. And my job in so many ways is in Japan. I know that YouTube, I can take it anywhere and I am so, so thankful for that. But it's all there, my whole life is there. My whole life has been there for the past like eight years. And then to have to leave, and I don't know when I'll be able to continue my life there, basically. That's a part that really, um, it really sucks. <laughs> and it's not just this as well, like there's actually, there was another big, 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 big thing that happened in my life, like just a couple of months before I found out that my visa was rejected. So imagine something as big as getting a visa rejected and just double it. And both of those things happened to me in the span of, you know, a couple of months. And it was just like one thing after another that just really made for a sad, sad, sad Hannah. So to apply for a visa from like outside the country, the job that's gonna be sponsoring you, they have to apply for a certificate of eligibility, it's called, so COE. It's basically like an entry permit. Once they send that COE to me, then I can take that to an embassy in Brisbane and apply for my visa. Once you apply for the COE, it can take they say about two months to get it back um, to get a response at least and so it could be a little bit less but it could be a lot longer and I found online there's a forum that a friend recommended to me and it's just like a bunch of people talking about how long the COE is taking and then people are saying it's taking um, they've been waiting for three months and they still haven't haven't heard anything so it's looking like it's gonna take a lot longer it might not hear anything until like the end of November Hi everyone, just quickly I would like to add some information that I'm sure everyone's already thinking and commenting already. Uh, also hi, this is my quarantine hotel in Taiwan. So yeah, obviously it was announced yesterday that the borders to Japan are opening from October 11th onwards for tourists. Um, and so you're probably thinking, why don't you just go back as a tourist? A tourist visa would just be like a, a little band-aid on the, on the whole, the gravity of the situation because it's not a, a sustainable thing and I, I don't, I don't want to visit my life. I want to live my life there. So getting a visa is my utmost priority. Is that right? Utmost. Look at my hotel. That bed is so big. <laughs> For what? For what? It's just me. <laughs> Here's the thing though. I am fully, fully aware and grateful and so thankful that I, I have YouTube as my job and, and I have this audience of people that supports me and I know you guys just, you just want the best for me and, and you want me to um, make good content and, and that kind of thing. And I, I'm so over the moon and so grateful for this. You know, when people usually say I had a really terrible year, um, it usually starts with, you know, a family member died or something like that. Like no one is injured or sick or dead <laughs> in, my, in my life. And uh, it's not, I know like the gravity of the situation, it's not that big. I know that I'm probably gonna look back on this in years time and I'll be like, huh, I was so stressed about that. It was only three months long. Huh, what was I so stressed about? You know, and I'm looking forward to that time to when I can just look back at this and, and shrug it off, but yeah. Mm. Oh, my tea is just cold now. I've been filming for 32 minutes, that's why. <laughs> I do want to make a video when I'm like, of my things back in Australia. I've been filming little things here and there and little trips that have been going on. But honestly, the first month of me being here, I, I wasn't feeling up for filming anything. I think I cried like, like every second day in August, I think. <laughs> yeah, anyway, that's what's been going on. It's not the end of the world. I will be back in Japan. I have to be because my entire life is there. <laughs> I'm sorry if this video is really really sad because it is, because I'm sad. I wanna put a positive spin on things, but I am not coming up with a lot. Um, <laughs> hopefully I'll put together a happy video from Australia. It will not be this sad, because this one was pretty sad. Damn, I'm rambling so much. Uh, thank you so much for all of your support. It means, it means the world to me. Honestly, it really, really does. And for you watching this video all the way to the end and supporting me, and it's amazing. And I will see you guys 
in a much happier video, much happier place, tag on. It's <laughs> a strange way to end it. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Goodbye.